Bye. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to uh, be adding a UI element that we will display whenever a goal is scored. Um, so let's go ahead and just create that. And when, and when doing that, I like to go to the test tab, like device, and then make the device Xbox One. No way I know how the UI is going to look up or it's going to show up uh, for the Xbox, which if it looks good on the Xbox, it's going to look good on the PC. At least that's been my experience with it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We uh, So we're going to go to the starter GUI and we are going to make a new screen GUI. We're going to name this screen GUI to be uh goal scored gui and we are going to add a frame to it and frame's not showing up anywhere oh there it is um we want to make the anchor point of this to be 0 0.5 on the x we want the background transparency well let's let's make it make the background color uh like a gray and then we'll do the transparency at 0.5 We need to go to the size and I hate how it does this by default. It does the offset. We need to do the scale. So we need to scale it. Let's do like 0.7 uh, on the X and on the Y let's do 0.7 also and make the offset zero. Now we can move it how we want it in here. So this is just going to be the area I want to take up. So I wanted to say like goal and then I wanted to say uh, distance to goal and then the amount of money you earned from scoring a goal. All right, so let's make it about like that, I guess. Um, make the position on the X. 0.5 and I think that uh, roughly that is good um, so so yeah let's uh, goal scored frame and on the frame, let's add a text label. This is going to be goal label. And we are going to make the background transparency one. Uh, we are going to make the anchor point 0 0.5 on the X. Position, yeah, 0 0.5 on the X. Size, we need to uh, do, let's do 0.5. Oh, never mind, let's, let's do one on the X. Zero on the X. Uh, offset. And we'll do like 0.4 on the Y scale, zero on the Y offset. Okay. And so we want to scroll down. Uh, we want to change the text font. Let's do bangers. And the text color, let's do 
Um, sorry for the text color. Let's do Salmon. And we want to do text scaled. Uh, we got to click OK over here. Now let's do text scaled. Do the text stroke transparencies, turn it on zero. And we need to change the text to say goal. All right. Um, now we want to duplicate this goal label. And we want to say, uh, distance label. All right. We need to, we need to change the, uh, Y scale. We need to change it. So we got 0.4, so there's 0.6, so it needs to be 0.3. And We want to say for the text color, let's do let's do a blue. Do let's do aqua. No, let's do like a. Yeah, let's do black. Or let's do iron. I click OK. I always forget to do that. Let's put it about like that, actually. Goal, and we'll say. Old distance. All right, and let's let's actually duplicate this, the distance label. Uh, let's do variable label is what we're going to call this. We're going to drag it over or let's, let's do this instead. Let's make it to where the anchor point is on actually, no, let's, let's, yeah, let's go back to the, di select the distance label, scroll down under text uh there should be an alignment somewhere yeah text x alignment do left and like the variable label text alignment do right now nah, it's gonna be too far apart though Um, okay, let's do, let's leave the gold distance like that. Uh, it's like the variable label and do text alignment center. Um, okay, let's do this center. Let's go back to distance, go back to distance, make it center as well. Um, and we are going to just move it. 
manually. Come on. Come on, what is it doing, man? Variable label. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change the color of this to be like a blue. And then we will select the distance label. We will duplicate it and uh, we will drag it down. And this is just going to be money label. Let's rename this variable label to be distance variable label. And let's do rename this goal label to goal distance label. All right. And uh, on the money label, we're going to, to change the text uh, just to, I don't know, say some amount of money. Doesn't really matter. We're going to change it through scripting. Uh, text color. Do like a green. Yeah. Well, let's do like a plus 250. All right, so we've got the UI made for whenever we score a goal let's let's also make a ui just for our money amount um so let's create another screen gui let's just call this uh default gui now we're gonna make a frame in here actually we're gonna we're gonna delete that frame we're gonna go over to the goal scored we're gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna drag it into the default GUI and then we're going to uh, delete all of these um, text labels from the GUI I mean from the frame and let's just call this money frame and we can now move it let's move it to the right top corner uh and before we do that let's change the anchor point on it to be uh one on the x All right, uh, let's add a let's add an image label to it. I think I've already got a uh, money icon. I might not. I don't know. Let's see. Um, so let's scroll down to the image. We got to scroll down further. Here we go. Add image, choose file. Oh wait, 
Yeah. Nah, it's on my other computer. Uh, yes, allow. Cancel, cancel. I thought it would like, yeah. Okay, it must cache it on the local system whenever you do that. Um, I know that made no sense. So just delete that. We're just gonna do text for now, the text label. And uh, that, delete that. And money label. We're going to duplicate this money label, drag it onto the money frame. And now we can just adjust it like that. And uh, it looks pretty good. Need to get rid of that plus and actually don't really need to, but want to. All right, uh, so that's our UI. Uh, and so we're just gonna keep the video short. I'm trying not to uh, let these videos go on for too long because it's a pain in the butt to edit them when I let them get too long. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, we're gonna start hooking up uh, this UI and, and uh, programming it so it actually uh, works. So I think the first thing we should do is get uh, a money value or a, a money variable that we can change and adjust and add to. Uh, then we'll then we'll program it to uh, actually add to it whenever we score a goal. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.